Hello and welcome to today's session. There's just a little bit about me and what I've been doing. You can view that and go over it as many times as you wish. Going to start with the Google Slides that you can download, view, copy or print out. Just use the QR code that I've created for you for all the links. Notice I got the QR code completely free from QR code Monkey. Highly recommended. Right, so we're going to talk about a record audio or a video question type. It's a Moodle plugin. You can evaluate your students' work and they can practice by recording their voices through audio or video. This is great for uh, languages, whether uh, they're native language or foreign language. It'll help them improve their skills and you'll get a chance to help them in that by evaluating what they've done so far. They can also self-evaluate. Their performance skills, dance, singing, artwork, and their creative skills, which could also be writing and art. Well, how does it work? When students take a quiz or test on Moodle, they'll see a question type and they record their voices or turn on their cameras and record their voices through that by creating a video. Once they finish the recording, they click on the stop button and the audio or video recordings will be saved and graded by the instructor if the instructor decides to grade them. The students can do the following. They can read aloud. They can speak in a foreign language, explain a concept, play an instrument, sing, dance, tell a story, read a poem they created, or sing a song they composed. This is to practice and to evaluate. The instructions for the teachers are, you go to the quiz or test where you want to add the question. I'm going to show you how that's done. You click Add Question button, select the Record Audio Video Type, whatever you want to choose. You enter the question text, set the maximum length of the video or audio that you want your students to record and share, and you click the Save button. Some tips here for you as a teacher. Use clear and concise question text. The students know exactly what to do. Set a reasonable maximum length for the students so that they don't have to rush through it. I prefer to give them additional time. Provide students with clear instructions on how to record their responses and preview the audio and video recordings yourself before you give it out to your students and before grading them. For more, let's take a look and then we'll be back here. So we're going to go into a website called Online Courses for Free. Let me go into a quiz. You need to turn editing on in order to create this. So we're going to turn editing on and then we're going to go into the course. This is a sandbox. In the sandbox, we've got editing turned on as the teacher. We're going to scroll down until we get to add an activity or resource. We're going to click on that, go into activities, and then create a quiz. So scroll down until you get to a queue. There's a queue. Click on it. Now we've got a quiz. We're going to give it a name. We're going to call this Demo. Let's call it Demo 8 so we know that it's this one. And then the timing notice. Um, when time expires, open attempts are submitted automatically. Okay, and then grade. We can grade our students. The highest grade, grade to pass is 100. All right, question behavior. Um, this isn't really important because we just want to set it up. But we will go into activity completion and add do not indicate. 
and then save and display. That's just for the quiz. All right, now 100 can't be because it's 10. All right, so we'll put 10. That was set up. You can change that in your grade book. All right, now we're back here. So we're going to go into add a question by clicking on add a question. And then on the right, we will add a new question. And then we're going to scroll down. Notice there are different types of questions, but we're going to go into the record audio and video. There's an explanation there. We're going to click on add. There we are. Now we're going to give it a name. I'm going to call it introduction. And because I'd like students to introduce themselves, introduction. And then I can choose single audio single screen recording or single video. I'm going to choose audio and then the question text. If you're not sure if this is necessary, you need to do that. So the question text is introduce yourself. Okay, I'll leave it at that. And then let me scroll down and uh, the feedback I can put nice. And then 10 minutes, that's enough, I think. And settings for self-assessment. Yeah, students can. And then save changes. All right. And there it is. Introduce yourself. All right. And there are the points for it. I'm going to give them 10. And we might want to change that to 100. I always like to do this. 100 and then we'll make it 100, 100, right, and then save. And that's how we get to 100. All right, now we can preview the quiz. Notice, um, Introduce yourself. No recording yet. We're going to hit start recording. And notice the time lapse over here. Hello, my name is Nellie Deutsch and I'm a teacher trainer. Then we're going to stop the recording. We can play it. Start recording. And notice the time lapse over here. Hello, my name is Nellie Deutsch and I'm a teacher trainer. All right, so that was that. Next, I'm going to finish attempt. Okay, and then I can return to my attempt or I can submit it. Let me submit, submit. Okay, this is the final submit before the teacher grades it. Okay, it's not graded yet. The teacher will go in and provide the grading. That was just a preview. But if you want to see what it looks like to grade, it's quite easy. Now I'm in as a student, going to go into record, All right? Attempt the quiz. Start recording. Hello, my name is Nellie Deutsch and I am a teacher educator. Stop. Notice finish attempt. Submit all and finish all my attempts. I can try it as many times as I want and I can listen to it. Hello. My name is Nellie Deutsch and I am a teacher educator. Okay, that was that. Now I'm going to go in as the teacher so I can grade and you'll see how it's graded. Going to go into results and then grades on top left here. Instead of responses, I'm going to go to manual grading and then to grade. And the grade is just underneath. So there we are. That's the manual grading. 
I'll give them both a hundred and then save and show next. Now here you can go into the, that's the results. You can also go into, notice here, statistics. Okay, and get that. The statistics, you can also go into the responses. Okay, these are the responses. Notice right now there's only one with a grade. And that's it. If you have any questions, let me know. Let's go back now to our presentation. And we're back here with our record audio and video student assessment. But as I said, it's not only for student assessment, it's also for student practice and of course student self-assessment so that students can improve. If you're interested in learning to Moodle, there are two courses, one in January and one in May of each year. This is the one in May. There is the link and the QR code for that. You can also practice various plugins, Moodle plugins, on online courses for free. Once you become a teacher or you're an expert teacher and you're able to work on your own course, you'll be able to try out all the various plugins. And if you've got a plugin that you really, really like and it's compatible with the latest Moodle, let me know and I'll be happy to show you how it works and let you practice it on online courses for free.com. Have a great day and happy Moodling.